Hey guys, hi, how are you? In today's video, we're gonna be taking our 2007 Acura TSX in for an oil change, but most importantly, I need to see if it's gonna pass the smog test at 245,000 miles. Let's see how it goes. typically get my oil changes cheap fast but there's a lot of cars in there probably gonna be a long time before they get to my car maybe the smog test is gonna have to wait for another day so i've had this car for about two years and it's been pretty reliable but at 245 thousand miles anything can happen right it was due for an oil change and uh, since the smog place is across the driveway i figured that it was convenient to just take it in today since the registration is due in a few weeks. I'm usually pretty religious when it comes to maintenance, especially in a high mileage vehicle like my TSX. My other vehicle is MV30 and it's got as many miles, what is it, like 240 something thousand miles. I usually change the oil every 5,000 miles. I bought this car with 217,000 miles and since I bought it, I always bring it to the same place. I always get fully synthetic and it runs me about $90. This mock cert is another $58 I think I saw online. And I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the smog certification process here in California. For those of you that follow me from other places, uh, maybe from other places in the country or maybe in the world. Basically, every couple of years, depending on where you live in California, you need to get your car checked to make sure that it's not polluting too much. This is called the smog check. And basically, all gasoline cars five years and older need to get certified. And this applies to any vehicle that was manufactured in 1976 or later. First, you take the car in to a licensed smog check station. This place all over the place here in San Diego. There's one in every corner. So finding one is not too hard. The technician will hook up the car to some equipment to make sure that the emissions coming out of the exhaust are not too dirty. If everything is within legal limits, you pass the test and then you get a smog certificate. Mm -hmm. This certificate is good for 90 days and you will need it to renew your car's registration. And that's exactly why I'm getting mine done today. If your car passes, good, right? But if it doesn't pass, the technician will give you a report showing what needs to be fixed. You can get those repairs done and retest your car. It can be a simple thing as an oxygen sensor or something like a bad catalytic converter. And in the case of my TSX, it seems like the OEM catalytic converter has been discontinued. So if it fails, I'm gonna have to go aftermarket. And I saw one that is carb compliant made by MagnaFlow for $1,400. So it's not even the stock one, and it's $1,400. So if it gets to fail, it's gonna be a game changer for me because I'll be looking at maybe like a $2,000 repair to keep my TSX going in California. Sure, you can get a cheaper one, but it won't be California compliant, and I just don't wanna go that route. You may be wondering why catalytic converters are so expensive, and me too. To me, they just look like a metal sleeve with a brick inside, but they're expensive for a few reasons. They contain rare and expensive metals that are crucial for the converter to do its job of reducing harmful emissions. But these precious metals are also used in jewelry and electronics, which drives their cost up. They're also hard to make. It involves a lot of precision and high quality materials to ensure it works effectively and lasts a long time. They're also in high demand. The demand for catalytic converters has gone up. More cars need them and that pushes the price higher. That's why you see reports in the six o'clock news about them being stolen in LA, San Diego, and all major cities in California. The bad guy is just stealing because of the valuable metals inside. This has led to an increased cost for replacement and added security measures. Three members of the same California family are pleading guilty to being part of a crime ring that stole $600 million worth of catalytic converters. Police appear to have taken the steam out of a multi-million dollar criminal empire targeting drivers. So in a nutshell, it's a combination of expensive materials, complex production, high demand, and theft that makes catalytic converters so costly. Imagine when owners have to replace two catalytic converters. There's some VAs that have two catalytic converters, so when they go bad, you're looking at about a $5,000 replacement. 
And that is why I get kind of nervous with the process, but let's hope for the best. Last time that I tested it, it was when I first bought it almost two years ago and it passed and my car is running really good. So fingers crossed that it passes. And the technician called me to tell me that the car had a leaky gasket and that he could replace it for $107 and I gave him the green light. And I wish I could have been there just to verify the need for the work, but oh well, it's called the VVT spool gasket. And I'm sure it's a $5 part that can be changed in 10 minutes, but oh well. Let's go pick it up so that we can take it to a small place. If you're enjoying LTO video, please consider subscribing for more related content. Let's continue. So the guy's gonna take it in without an appointment and I'm pretty happy about it. I mean, it's late in the day, but it seems like there are other customers already. So let's see if it passes. Wish me luck. He said he saw good. Does that mean he passed? Hopefully. It passed and I'm just so happy about it. I was getting kind of paranoid. So I looked online what was the life expectancy of a catalytic converter and it said 10 years or 100,000 miles. So this one has 2.5 times that. Um, so yeah, it's been a good day. So let's go back to my favorite spot so that we can wrap up this video. Thank you for making it this far into this video. I know that a lot of you follow me for this very car. And I know that lately I haven't posted a lot of TSX material, but I just haven't had time. And uh, probably next time that you see a video on this car is because I'm gonna get it painted. Yes, it's finally gonna get a paint job. I've been postponing it since I bought it basically, but I found this guy that works really well. It's also affordable, it's a hard mix because I mean, body work is so labor intensive that it's really hard to find affordable and quality work. But in this case, I saw some of his work and he, he works really well. I mean, I don't need anything fancy. It's gonna be the same color, just a respray and some basic body work. In case this is your first time here, let me show you what I mean. The clear is peeling off from the roof and it's got some scratches. Look at this, this is superficial. And then it's got a lot of door dings. And then it's a little misaligned on the bumper. And then see this detailer, he just ruined the paint here. I don't know if you can see it. You see some dents right there. Remember the trunk is full of scratches. Look at this, this is nasty. And then I also spotted some rust right here. He said he's gonna sand that and repair it. And I'll let you know how it goes. Look at these mirrors. So yeah, when you look at it from far, looks great, right? But it's not until you get closer that you see all those blemishes. But other than that, the car looks great. So let's see if it's an improvement. It's not gonna be that expensive. I'm not gonna tell you how much because it might run me a little more than quoted because there's more work that I want done. So when it's done, I'll show it to you uncensored and I'll tell you if I liked it or not. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more related content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.